Good morning. Welcome to Logan County Breakfast. I'm Brian. And I'm Lindsay. Let's start our day with a little inspiration. Today's daily devotional comes from John 14, 16 through 17. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. Welcome to Logan County Breakfast, where we bring you the best start to your day right here in Logan County, Arkansas. We're here to keep you informed, entertained, and inspired, so grab your coffee and let's get started. <laughs> Up next, we have a truly heartwarming story out of Independence, Missouri, mm -hmm. that shows just how powerful a small act of kindness can be. Yes. We'll get into it right after this brief message. Welcome to Penhamo Mexican Restaurant, where tradition and community come together. For over two decades, Pinhamo has been more than just a place to dine. It has been a pillar of support for Logan County. From sponsoring Little League baseball teams to hosting unforgettable graduation parties, Pinhamo has been there every step of the way. At Pinhamo, they take pride in nurturing relationships that last a lifetime. Their commitment to the community runs deep just like the flavors of their authentic Mexican cuisine. Join them tonight and experience the warmth of Pinhamo, where every meal is a celebration of their rich heritage and enduring community spirit. Pinhamo Mexican Restaurant, serving Logan County since 2003. Looking for a place to stay active, social, and informed? Boonville Senior Center is here for you. Join us for lunch Monday through Friday and enjoy activities like Jeopardy, Drums Alive, Bingo, Crafts, and more. Stay sharp with games like Super Noggin, keep fit in our exercise room or join our Bible study or line dancing for meaningful connection. From scam awareness to health screenings, we provide valuable presentations to keep you informed. We even offer transportation so you never miss out. Don't miss out on our special events like Derby Day or our weekly food giveaways. At Boonville Senior Center, it's about staying connected, engaged, and active in a supportive community. Call Boonville Senior Center today at 479-675-4851 for more information. Welcome back. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Tammy and Kenny Perry. It is a nice, brisk morning. These are my favorite mornings. Fall mornings are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Dennis and Wanda Harrison, and good morning, Tommy Joe. Good morning, everyone. It all started back in January when sanitation worker Billy Shelby was on his usual route and saw 88-year-old Opal Zuka trip and fall while she was taking mm -hmm. out her garbage. Shelby didn't hesitate. He jumped out of his truck to help her, stayed with her until she got medical attention, and even insisted on taking her garbage out every week after that. It didn't stop there. Every week when Billy brings Opal's trash cans up to her house, she's there to greet him with a big hug. And their sweet friendship has inspired so many. Opal, who has dementia, may not always remember everything, but she always remembers Billy. It was Opal's daughter, Colette Kingston, who first realized how special their bond was. She saw security footage of Billy walking arm in arm with Opal up the driveway and posted the video online to thank him. And what happened next? The video went viral and thousands of people were touched by their story. Billy says he never expected any of this. In his own words, I was just trying to take the trash back up there and get my hug. And now he hopes his friendship with Opal will inspire others to be kind to their neighbors. He believes in putting out good energy into the world and, as he says, more than likely, that's what you're going to get back. What a beautiful message. Mm -hmm. It's a reminder that you don't need to do something big to make a difference. Sometimes it's the small gestures that mean the most. I would have to say oftentimes it's the small gestures that mean the most. Yeah, most, mm -hmm. most times. I love that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Brian, you're going to have me emotional. Oh, that hug was just so hmm, heartfelt. How's our weather? Here's a look at today's weather in Logan County, sponsored by Baker's Shelter Insurance. Today, sunny skies, high near 91. 
these are starting to fall, change colors. Tonight, mostly clear, low around 59 degrees. Well, whose birthday is today? Let's find out. Today is author Ann Rice's birthday. Happy birthday, Ann. You can submit birthdays to us via Facebook Messenger or by emailing us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. I love her scarf. I bet she's in the garden club wherever she lives. I bet she is. Stick around for our Logan County Breakfast Daily Trivia and much more. Oh, did you get us switched over to shelter insurance? Actually, I found a deal online. You did? Does your deal come with award-winning customer service? Oh, I'm not sure. Does the deal include a local agent? Doesn't actually say. Can we create a customized plan that fits our needs? Hmm. Let's just call the local shelter agent. For insurance that fits just right, find a shelter agent near you. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Contact Baker's Shelter Insurance in Booneville at 479-675-2782. Rice Lawn Care and Tree Services, your trusted partner for tree care in Booneville and surrounding areas. Specializing in expert tree care and removal, they handle every job with precision. Stacy in Booneville said, Kevin and his crew did an excellent job removing three trees. Great price and quality work, highly recommend. From hazardous tree removals to routine maintenance, they've got you covered. Serving Boonville and the surrounding communities with honest service and competitive prices. Call Rice Lawn Care and Tree Services today at 479-206-1582 for a free tree consultation. Today is National Truckers Day, celebrated on October 4th, and it honors a very deserving group of people mm -hmm. and their dedication to taking on one of the most challenging and essential jobs in the country while keeping the, the economy moving. We tip our hats, and, or rather our trucker caps, to them and salute them on often unnoticed and underappreciated profession that boasts some of the bra bravest and kindest men and women in the United States. Mm -hmm. I'm tongue-tied. Yes, you are. <laughs> but I so, definitely agree with that. Happy National Truckers Day. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget, um, this weekend is the garden, the oh. garden Club bake yes. sale. Mm -hmm. And they also have plants and crafts mm -hmm. as well. They mm -hmm. start at like like eight eight a.m. I believe so. Eight a.m. at the South. Is it Logan eight or nine? Sure. Okay. South Logan County Chamber. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to check. And they and have see. like uh, Christmas wreaths. Is it wreaths or reefs? It's T H. It ends in a T H. Okay, wreaths. I knew yeah. that. I knew that. I was just kidding. Also, um, the Natural State Entertainment is having. Muscadine Jam mm -hmm. at Broadway, Mor Mor Broadway Memorial Park. So <laughs> Muscadine Jam will be playing at the... Yes, from 5 to 7 p.m. Lucinda Franklin Garrett stage. Yes. All right. And that'll be, uh, I think that's the weekend roundup, everything going on this weekend. Mm -hmm. So um, well, we, we have more things about in our local story. So go ahead. We sure do. <laughs> It is now time for our news brief. Get ready for a celestial spectacle as a solar storm is approaching Earth. Following consecutive X flares from an active sunspot region, two coronal mass ejections are expected to hit our planet late today and October 6th. This could result in strong G3 class geomagnetic storms potentially offering a chance to see the northern lights in our neck of the woods mm. for the third time this year. There's a possibility of upgrading to a G4 storm 
which would make the aurora visible as far south as Alabama and North Carolina. North Carolina, Northern California. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can't read either. While the event, while this event may disrupt power grids and satellite systems, it also promises a breathtaking display of nature's light show. Yes. So keep your eyes on the horizon. Have you ever seen the Northern Lights yourself? Yeah, we saw them this year. I haven't. I don't it, well, it was not. It wasn't really like we saw the aurora. It was just purple in the north. Okay. It, was, it looked almost like that, but without the green. Hmm. All right. For local events, this Saturday, October 5th, the annual Frontier Day Festival will take place, starting with an exciting parade at 9 a.m. The event promises a fun-filled day with activities including the 100-meter mosey, carriage rides, food, games, a car show, and the Frontier Pageant at 5 p.m. Residents and visitors alike are encouraged to attend and join in the festivities. That's always a hit. There's a lot going on this weekend. There is. It is now time for our trivia. This week's trivia theme, Vintage Horror Films. In The Birds, what kind of birds attack the town? If you know, leave a comment, message us on Facebook, or email us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. Good morning, Gerald Baker. Yes, good morning. As for yesterday's trivia... In The Shining, what is the name of the haunted hotel? Tommy Joe said The Overlook Hotel. You got it right. Good job, Tommy Joe. Good job, Tommy Joe. Is it now time for our drawing? It's Friday. It sure is. It sure is. Todd Edman. <laughs> Good job. Good job, You're our Todd. Winner. Todd Dedman, you are this week's Logan County Breakfast Trivia Drawing winner of $25 cash. You can call the number on the screen and we will work out how to get your winnings to you. Winners have one week to claim their prize. Todd messaged me an hour, hour ago and he said, I forgot about our time difference. He's in Las Vegas this week. Mm. So what time is it there? Um, at West Coast time, that would be whatever Pacific is. I think it's an hour ahead of us. Yeah. Mm. As we wrap up today's show, we'd like to leave you the motivational quote to carry you through the day. Just because something doesn't do what you planned it to do doesn't mean it's useless. What does Thomas that mean? Thomas Edison. What does that mean? Because it could have a different use. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I still don't. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow or mo Monday morning with more news, weather, and inspiration. Have a great weekend. Have a blessed day, everybody. <laughs>